Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are back in Disney's Worlds of Adventure. Last time we checked out Beauty and the Beast. We have to decide what world in the worlds of adventure are we gonna go to? Now, I sort of, you know, I may need to do some research. And by that, I may need to do some exploration because we got a special power from collecting so many of these red crystals. And I've seen these boulders around here that do require you to be able to like punch them. I just forget what color of gem is required in order to move them. So let me go see if I can find one. See, this is kind of what I'm talking about. Now, it actually is not a good example because I have the crystals to move this now, which I didn't before. Maybe it is a good example for that reason. So now I should be able to use my crystal compass and activate it. And by the way, I get to choose which one I want. And I want this lofty gym. And you can see that when I hover over it, it says lofty gym. So now it's activated and I should be able to move this out of the way. And now I can get back here. Oh my gosh, I, one one lofty gem that was it <laughs> okay okay but i remember this for boulders that look like i could cr crunch and destroy so i need to find that boulder once i find oh there it is okay perfect so now i know which gem i need which will help me choose which world ah brittle stout a I bet a proper shout could turn it into gravel. Okay, okay, okay. The deep gym. Okay, see, I need to collect more deep gems in Atlantica. Oh, okay, so let's head back. Okay, there we go, definitely, ah, Atlantica. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. So we're gonna go see Little Mermaid, Ariel, and Flounder. I only have one key, so this is why it was so important for me to decide which place I wanted to go next because only one key and I need to complete this entire world of adventure until I can get another. So let's unlock. Yes, I do want to unlock the Little Mermaid and we are warping there now. Oh my gosh. Sebastian, Ariel and Flounder are all chilling out here and we are under the sea. Oh my gosh, we're actually under the sea. I am swimming. You are kidding me. That is amazing. Okay, so let's talk to Sebastian. Ariel, I'm gonna start with Sebastian. Just turn yourself around and, and go. Wow, Sebastian, such a rude introduction. Under no circumstances are you to meet Ariel. Human clothes? What? Sebastian, what are you talking? Exactly, Ariel, come on, to speak some sense. Obviously, Ariel was always interested in human stuff. Of course, we got King Trident problems. I can magically breathe underwater. Ariel is pointing that out. And Sebastian relents. Just don't let King Trident know. Shouldn't be a problem for us, right? Okay, so we are gonna go find the castle. Ariel, oh my gosh, there it actually is. Those are those blue gems I wanted so bad. But first, I wanna talk to Flounder. Oh, it's nice to meet you too, Flounder. Oh, and you're, ah, that's it. Okay, well, that was a quick conversation. I love that I can just swim around. It makes exploring so much easier. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, first I should, should I follow the quest or should I go explore? I'm gonna explore. Picking up all the gems, already up to seven. This is why I was so excited to play a world with this type of gem, because you like only find that color. That's another boulder that I need to shout and use echo on. Oh, look. I have boots on. They gave me Depth Strider 3 boots. Can I, here, let's, uh, can I just walk? Uh, oh, I can't, I can't sprint though. <laughs> this is so interesting. What is going on here? I'm like walking, but not. I think I'd rather just swim. This is so cool though. The city, that looks awesome. Atlantica, oh my gosh. Look at these little starfish and their little faces. Oh, that is too adorable. These starfish don't have faces. Not as adorable. Last time, I thought that it was around 30 gems was when I finally unlocked the power. Dang it, I don't have that yet. And if I didn't explain it well, the gems allow me to actually unlock things like that. So like, I, I haven't unlocked that yet. Let's go talk to Ariel and Flounder and Sebastian. Okay, what's up? We're here at the castle now. This is where I live with my sisters. Okay, perfect. My best friend Flounder. Uh, well, I already met you, Flounder. In fact, we I met you back at the 
entrance. Okay, so Ariel has the bright idea of going to the reef and looking for treasure. And I'm all on board with that. Flounder mentions the sharks that could be in that area. Honestly, Flounder, get over it, okay? We're searching for treasure, and I'm not going to let a stinking shark stand in the way of me and treasure. And also, chances are, we're not going to see any sharks, ever. Not me just collecting all the gems all at once. Do you think King Trident's not supposed to see me? Because, oh, my first collectible. Oh, my gosh. Hooray, I forgot that these existed. I forgot that you existed. Okay, we're gonna test this out. Is King Trident gonna throw me out of this map if I go talk to him? Oh, no, he's nice. Ah, oh, haven't seen you around. Hope you enjoy your time. Huh. King Trident's nice. Oh my word. This guy is very dark, but that is character is so funny. I feel like I'm like one or two gyms away from unlocking the ability to break stuff. <gasps> Another artifact. Oh my gosh. That is an actual dingle hopper. And we're going to get it. I can see the gyms behind. Uh -huh. Okay, 30. We did it. Yes. Okay, I saw a rock that I could break. I think it was over here near King Trident. There's King Trident. And is this the rock? Okay, okay, okay. So first, oh good, we're on the deep gym. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, do this. There we go, smack, smack, and three gyms are back here, perfect. I'm so happy we unlocked this ability. Now I need to find where the reef is. Where did Ariel go? <laughs> Luckily I have a map, so we can head on over. Oh, good, she's not far. Hello, Ariel, hello, Sebastian, I see a mini game. The last minigame was really well made and really fun, so I'm excited to see what this one is all about. Are you ready to start? Yes, I am. Okay, so we she loves looking for human things. We know that. As many dingle hoppers as we can find. So look for shiny things in the shipwrecks. Okay. Oh, I see the treasure. So I see like it looks like mirrors and necklaces, and those are points. Some of them are hidden. Okay, so look for in tiny little areas. Okay, she's gonna help us search. Oh, that's fantastic. I'll get some amount of points, because I hope. Uh, do your points? Oh, I'm, I'm treasure driving now. Okay, so let's go a searching. Oh, I see a necklace. That was four points before. Do I just get close to it, or do I click it? Okay, I click it, I think. Click, yeah, got it. That was only two points. Oh, tiny little, oh, she's gonna love that. Yes, extra treasure for her grotto. Oh, I see the time that's running out now. Oh my gosh, a big old painting. This has got to be a million points. One point, oh my gosh. But I did find an artifact. That's a collectible. That is fantastic. This huge old painting only costs one point. Come on, I got I to gotta find more necklaces. Oh, what is this? Is this a thing? Oh, it's a lantern, a lamp. Oh, that was plus two. Plus 10? What the heck? Oh my gosh, there's a tiny little lamp thingy. That was plus 10. I gotta find more of those. Oh my gosh, this is a bigger area than I expected. Look, there is loot over here in the corners. That's where I was over there before. Oh, what is this? Oh, a necklace. Okay, that's plus four. This is good. I, I don't see my, my timer at the top of the screen anymore. Did I leave the play area? Uh-oh. This game is pretty good, so I feel like it's just a visual bug. It'll work itself out. I'm gonna move, oh yeah, I really do have to move. Oh my gosh, Ariel and Flounder are both searching. Oh no, my time is up, okay. Dang it, I didn't get that last lamp. Okay, my score was 61, that's pretty good. Wait, oh, high score 61. Oh, I need to score 100 or 120 to get a trophy? <gasps> well, I did get the key that I wanted, which is fantastic. This is a new portal key because I helped out Ariel, just like last time. Let me see if I can get a better score now that I kind of know the rules and everything. Okay, here we go. Starting off and look, this tiny, oh, it's a dingle hopper. Of course a dingle hopper costs 10 points. I should have suspected. I will admit, I kind of wish there was more shipwrecks. Like, remember in the movie how there was just like a ton of shipwrecks all in this one spot? It was like we were right below the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, I kind of wish there was more boats to search through. Oh, another dingle hopper, and I see another one in my future. Remember, I'm trying to get to 120 points to get all of the 
the the trophies. Oh, this looks good. This looks good back here. I wasn't here before. Oh, I'm only at 90. I need I need a few more dingle hoppers. Oh no, there's nothing back here. Ugh. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Time's up and I only got 90. Dang it! I will not stand for this. We must do it again. Okay, this time. Well, there's a dingle hopper, so we gotta get that. But I think I may spend less time here at the original shipwreck and see if any of these pathways send me to a really good location. So we're actually gonna get out of here, just pick up some stuff along the way. I'm gonna move over to where I was searching before, or searching at the end of the last time. I just noticed what I thought was a lamp is actually a hourglass. I can't get more than 90. I can't, it's impossible. Well, I tried it a few times, got a high score of 97, was not able to get all the way up to 100 or 120. There must be an area that I'm like missing that I, uh, that I could search through that I haven't seen yet. Now, I did see this. This caught my eye because there's more gems and if this isn't Ursula's lair, I don't know what is. You know, we did see bad guy. Oh, up, 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 Ursula's lair. Also, why is, I'm seeing a glowy thing over here. What on earth are you a? Are you a collectible? You seem like a collectible. I found you. Oh, hello. That is, that is pretty cool. Finding, I don't, I don't know what that collectible was, but I found it. Here we are inside of Ursula's lair. Oh my gosh, I love the smoke effect. Her locket, oh my gosh. <laughs> There's Ursula. And she looks way too spider-like for me. Okay, I'm gonna snag this. I feel like I'm about to be like, I'm gonna sign a contract or something that I don't wanna sign, okay? I'm about to be eviled upon. I just looked at my quest log and apparently hidden jellyfish is a thing in this world. So I need to find three more of them, five total. Hey Ursula, how, how you doing? <laughs> Ursula says very Ursula things. Uh, and then also she has her eels, which I forget their names, but uh, they are freaking creepy. I don't like them. Let's get out of here. There's one more area to explore. I noticed that in my uh, quest log, and I think I may have seen it on the other side of the palace. So let's head over there to that direction. And also, keep an eye out for some jellyfish. Apparently, these jellyfish, are you, is this clam a thing? No, okay. I need a speed potion or something, because I am moving so slowly. Hopefully this is a new location, then this will be all of the locations. I see a jellyfish. I see two jellyfish. Actually, there's one and there's another. I must have accidentally bumped into one of these guys and didn't realize it. Oh, there we go, got one. Oh, I have to, I think I have to click them, not just, uh, I can't tell. There we go, okay, four, uh, one more. <gasps> Oh my, there's a boat. <gasps> oh my gosh, there is a boat on the water. I did not suspect or expect this at all. We have to get up there. Okay, here is the boat. Oh my gosh, are we gonna see Prince Eric the ship? Oh, oh my gosh, not Grimsby. Grimsby, get out of here. Oh my, there's so much to explore. Okay, let's check this out. Of course, Prince Eric hanging out at the captain's helm. Isn't this great, Grimsby? The salty sea air and the wind blowing through your face, in your face. Perfect day to be at sea. Okay, Prince Eric, I'm collecting all the gems I can. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, the spy glass. That's the last collectible I needed. And then of course, I wanted to come up here and talk to Scuttle. M move over, Scuttle. I'm trying to get this last gem and then I'll talk to you. Scuttle. Oh, hey there, a merfolk, huh? Ever seen a dingle hopper? It's the prongy thing that humans use to create aesthetically pleasing configuration of hair. So, so knowledgeable, Scuttle. Wow, what would I ever do without you? Okay, uh, oh, there's no captain's quarters. Just exploring this side of the ship, making sure there's nothing I'm missing. I fell into the ocean. That looks like it. Oh my gosh, okay, let's check out our quest log. We have found all five collectibles. We visited every area. We have assisted Ariel. We haven't found all of the gems yet, and there's one jellyfish that's hidden. I do remember that near the portal, 
there is an area that I could break the rock. So let's get back there. This is where the portal is. So I need to keep my eyes open for possibly a hidden uh, squid. What was it? Hidden jellyfish. But this I should be able to break open now. So let's try, oh, not that. Eh. Oh, bam, there we go, okay. What do I get inside? Oh, oh, this is one of those gyms that has a timer. So I'm gonna have to run through this probably. Okay, there's oh, one. Okay, well, this is a, a lot easier. A lot easier than I expected. Okay, found all three. <laughs> well, I really do feel like I've searched all over the place and I cannot find this last jellyfish, but I've done a lot in my quest log. I wonder what happens when you find all the hidden jellyfish. What if it's nothing? Okay, <gasps> the last jellyfish. The area behind the castle is so useful. Done and done, let me get you all the jellyfish. What did that change? Absolutely nothing. Oh my gosh, I found I found it all. I found every single gym. I assisted, I did it everything. I did literally everything I could do. Now it is time to return to the hub. Now that we have helped Ariel, we have a new portal key so we can unlock a new area. That will update in just a second. There we go, 75 of those. But to bring this full circle, I feel like I need to go and find that uh, boulder that I can now break because I have the powers. Also, oh, uh, that's what these are. So I saw this last time that when I was in the Beauty and the Beast world, I saw that symbol and I didn't know what it meant. Now I realize that that is a new power. So when I saw that symbol, I couldn't do anything because I didn't have the power. This is what I'm talking about though. This is the area that had that boulder that I couldn't break before. So let's break it now. Nice, okay. One, one, oh my gosh. All that for one stinking gem? Well, I definitely felt like there was gonna be more to that than one gem, but I guess that is what it is. I don't say anything else in this area. Well, we did it. We accomplished our goal. We got the superpower we wanted. We helped Ariel and we 100% completed the Ariel world. So I'm feeling pretty accomplished today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and enjoy playing through the Disney worlds of adventure. Which world I'm gonna go into next? Let me know in the comments what you guys think, where you think I should go. We have some options. The mystery gym allows me to get those buttons that I saw, but the verdant gym allows me to detect nearby gyms. Okay, so I'll have to look through this uh, off camera and I'll come back to you guys when we go to the next world. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.